Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, we're gonna be looking at custom consistent characters. So if you're signing up, well, if you're signing in for the very first time, how would you find this particular feature? So we're gonna go back to the main dashboard. Now you wanna start with selecting create design. Now when you're in the create design section, uh, we are going to go with the designer, the fast AI image designer opposed to the advanced AI image designer. Okay, so go ahead and select fast AI image designer. Now. As we're inside the uh, main fast AI image designer section, you're gonna see if you just gently scroll across to the top and we have custom consistent characters. Now, the way this will work is that when you have a character, okay, we can use a base character and then we can allow or we can uh, instruct artistically to uh, use that character and we can change the action of that said character in any subsequent um, imagery that we create, okay? So if you're gonna be using this for the very first time, you may already have an image in place that you can use, okay? By simply either using an image you can upload by dragging and dropping, or alternatively, we can add via a URL or if you have a character that you've already created and generated within Artistly, you can actually go ahead and select from the library like so. Okay, you can see all of these amazing uh, different designs uh, that have been already created uh, previously. However, let's just say for argument's sake, you're gonna be using this for the very first time. How would you actually do this? Okay, so what I'm gonna do uh, is gonna I'm gonna refer you to two, well, two functions where you can actually create your base character if you wanted to do this for the first time, either for personal or client use, okay? So, uh, we do have the AI image design if you're gonna craft this, but just very quickly, I'm just gonna show you this. So, perfect text and hands designer, if you went to create from prompt. Uh, why I wanted to mention this, because this, this is probably a, a, a good, tip as well, is that if you came to this section, yes, you could enter a prompt, but you do have the ability of using mirror magic, okay? So you could actually find maybe a character um, that you've seen or, or some kind of uh, base, well, base character that you like, and you could reverse engineer that character or that image uh, into your own prompt, okay? You can use artistically, take that image, reverse engineer it using the mirror magic function, and feature, get it described and build a character based off of any, you can base a character off any preference that you like. Uh, and it just, it's not just limited to you, but it could be a case that you have a client that has this, you know, this particular character that, that they absolutely love and they would like to model that particular character. Okay, so you have that option, very powerful option indeed. Uh, also, in addition to that, you can actually choose different styles here. You can have that Pixar style. And with consistent character, it works. We always, you know, uh, one thing with that we do state that, you know, it works amazingly well uh, and recommended with, uh, you know, Pixar style um, imagery, okay? So let's go to the AI image design. Let's get started. Let, let's create a character. So let's just say, for example, a young, a young um, boy. Okay, so a young boy. Now you may be thinking, you know, uh, it's quite limited, a young boy. Uh, so what I'm going to do just to make my life easy, I can actually enhance a prompt. Now, if you've got more specific requirements, young boy, hair color, build, uh, maybe what he's wearing um, in the location, the environment, or a particular behavior, you can you can incorporate all of that, of course, okay? Or, or it could be something that your client has told you specifically on what the image should portray. So it's all about the prompt as you would expect. But for this, uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just simply gonna go ahead and select a prompt enhancer. So I'm gonna select generate prompt. Because here I am now just trying to uh, show you how to create a base character if you're doing this from scratch, okay? And then uh, ultimately, uh, we're gonna then use that within consistent, uh, the consistent uh, character, um, custom consistent character function. Okay, so here we got create a captivating image of a young boy uh, between six and eight, curious, adventurous. Uh, he's in a forest with the sun there, tall trees, etc., etc. So you get the gist of it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come to the, um, we've got, quite a couple of choices we can choose from. We can go to style. So I'm gonna do 3D animate and I'm gonna select Pixar style, okay? Because, um, you know, one recommendation is when are, you are using the uh, custom consistent characters, you know, Pixar style or animated versions work tremendously well, okay, with that particular feature and function. So I'm gonna go select uh, generate image, but before doing so, let me create four variations. So, you know, I have a choice. 
Okay, so what we'll do, we give that a few moments to render those uh, unique designs, which will be coming up shortly. Okay, and let's see, they're getting rendered now. So we've got a couple of designs. We've got this young lad here. Uh, and again, it works in par with the prompt that's being given. Uh, more specifically, you can see, look, pocket knife. I thought, where's that knife come from? <laughs> but you can see it's all within the prompt. And, uh, you know, it just shows you how powerful this is. Now, uh, another key thing uh, to bear in mind when you're creating your found foundational character, if you're doing this from scratch, is that if there's a particular image or uh, any kind of... Um, result that's given to you that you're not particularly happy with so say for example this one yeah it looks okay but if i wanted to maybe uh, improve it i could uh, always come back to that said design there and select regenerate and allow artistly to rework it or make maybe some different changes so bring me back to the prompt section like so I can make another four variations i can maybe uh, look at changing the style uh, from you know from pixar uh, I could select vector. So, you know, I could just keep making different versions of variations without me having to repeat the whole process from scratch and put that information in. It just makes life a lot easier. So let's just say we have our base character like so. Okay, and you can see now how it's working uh, in conjunction with this character here. And it's now going to recreate different versions of that. And you can see uh, we did have a vector style opposed to the 3D Pixar style element. Um, but it's a nice, you know, you can make, uh, just imagine the possibilities of different variations and permutations of the design input or the style that you're looking for. Okay, so once that's done, and bear in mind, you can actually use the AI art, a, 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 the a, a art illustrator uh, that also does have a function of Pixar style as well, okay. And other elements that are very close to or as is, so you've got cartoon style there, and you've got so many other amazing looking styles that you could choose from. So here we got the Pixar style right there. Okay, once you select it, you would go ahead and do that. And it would have the same function up for Mirror Magic as well. So uh, let me come back now. Let, let's now begin with the uh, exciting part. So I go to Custom Consistent Designs. I go to Choose from Library. And now let's select the character that I've just created. Okay, so let me see which one do I like. Let's have a look. I've got so many to choose from. And this is one of the, I guess, the uh, challenges with Artist Lee just creates you so many choices. Um, so I'm going to select this character here, okay? Now let's go ahead and let's say Cartoon Boy, okay? So, And you can see just here it's listed works best with 3D style, illustrations, or animated characters. So Cartoon Boy uh, sitting on a, a boat. So what we are... Uh, employing artistly to do or more specifically this section here with the prompt okay we're instructing artistly to take our base well our image uh, that's being created here and sometimes it works even better if it's just nice and simple and plain uh, nothing too much going on okay so here we want to take this character here and we want him now to be sitting on a boat so I don't want to go too much yes you can actually uh, if you so desire you can actually go more thorough more comprehensive that's completely up to you but I want to keep this nice and simple for the purposes of this demonstration so uh, let's go ahead and select generate character now what we'll do uh, we're going to be redirected to the personal um, design section like so as we've done and then what we're going to do we're just going to give it a few moments to um, render that uh, and just bear in mind as it's doing that you can actually jump straight back in and you can do something completely different that ties in with your story or all the purposes behind why you're creating maybe you're creating a book so cartoon boy on roller skates so don't be uh you know apprehensive of trying really crazy stuff or you know um maybe prompts you think would be impossible um so do do you know challenge artistically in a sense okay so cartoon uh cartoon boy let me spell that right cartoon boy on roller skates so we want him on roller uh, roller skate or roller skating yeah same thing okay so generate character we get redirected and then we have our cartoon boy now he's on a boat Okay, so now he's on a boat. Uh, what I'll do, I'll go back to cons custom consistent characters. Let me show you another uh, method uh, we can do this. So to show you the power of this, okay, because you can see some amazing ones that have been created before and why so, so important and how to get this right. So let's just say um, we have a cartoon boy. Let me just scroll down and you can just see the power of this. I'm making it. There's so many. So as I come down, I should now find my 
um, subject that I have in mind. Okay, let's just go for this gentleman here. Okay, cartoon boy there. Cartoon boy. Um, let's say. Oh, driving, driving a car. Let's put him in a car. He shouldn't be driving, but let's put him on a car. car. Cartoon boy driving a car. And we go ahead. And you can see, look, sometimes, look, um, we've created it. I can always go back and regenerate it to get it closer. Okay, and here we've got that cartoon boy. I can regenerate my neck. Another version, improve upon it. And we can do that as much as we want. So you can imagine the applications of doing this, uh, whether you're creating any kind of mascots uh, for your media content, your book for continuity. It allows you to consistently repurpose the character in question and having them doing any other particular act or action in a different environment. Uh, and it's all about you and your des designation, essentially, in the prompt. So it's about your prompt and instructing artistically what specifically do you want it to do in reference to your subject that you're using now furthermore you're not just restricted to using children obviously uh, it's not just only for kids you can you it applies for any age range so you're not just limited i know we're using uh, a child here in this example however you are not limited whatsoever and here you you have this uh, young boy there um should be driving but we're going to go ahead and reteach it or tell artists, you know, we want a better version of it. So there's nothing really stopping us from going back in and doing that. And if I oh, let me just go back because another one just had um, been created, personal designs. And we have this one here. Look, so cartoon boy sitting on the boat. So you can see how photorealistic this is. We've took our subject. He's now sitting on the boat. Um, alternatively, let me try another uh, example as well. Going back to my other character. Uh, if I can find him, I mean, there's so many, you just get lost in it sometimes. So as I come down, okay, he was on a roller skate, wasn't he? So let's do him, cartoon boy. Cartoon boy. Let's see if we can get him uh, on a plane. I just want to experiment. So that's why it becomes, you know, it is a fun experiment. And here we have, look, cartoon boy roller skating. And you can see he's on roller skate. So, you know, if I was to build out the prompt, you know, roller skating, he's on grass or a verge or a hill or city center with cars around. I could say, you know, maybe uh, if I'm doing a storybook, as an example, uh, he would be in a forest with, you know, maybe uh, monkeys around. Uh, there was one particular graphic uh, which was quite interesting. Uh, and it shows you the power of it if I just scroll down. And you can see, look, here are some prior examples of consistent characters being used, how they're being repurposed. Uh, this lady here, and then she's on a hill. And the same applies for different designs. And look, you can see she's on the boat. She's doing cooking. <laughs> We've got some here there as well. Okay, so some great examples just to demonstrate the power of this. And with the cartoon boy, you can see, um, which I'm going to show you so you can see him in different settings as well. Even uh, you can have him in the boat or becoming an astronaut but what i'm looking for you can see he's reading a book so these are some great examples that were kind of cooked before as they say in television you can see here like so so you can see him jumping around etc uh, etc et so some really good examples there so let's go ahead and here we have it he's now uh, driving a car <laughs> okay so we've got our, our little chap there driving a car so you can see the power of using this and remember you can use this with all age range not just specifically limited for um, children as you can see some of these examples out here you got her there on the farm in different positions uh, and then subsequently sitting down close-ups you know you can you can alter the graphic and remember not only when have you when you know it, it creates a design you can actually take it further and go and edit the design where you'll redirect it to the advanced ai image designer where you can build out that media content in banners uh, maybe uh, you want to create thumbnails maybe content for mobile laptops social media uh, maybe for advertisement purposes etc etc so it's really um you know uh, the limitation only comes to exactly what you want uh, essentially so um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video where we have covered how to create those custom consistent characters